Hi kindergartners and first graders. It's me, Miss Wagner, here for another music lesson with you. Now, in the last music lesson, we talked about musical opposites. And one of those musical opposites was high and low. So I want to start today's lesson by talking a little bit more about that. And what I want to do is I have my marker here, nice whiteboard, and I'm going to draw some lines just like we did together in that last activity. I, or in a, in a couple activities ago, I had you sing the lines. I wanna do it together today. I wanna to really talk about it. So I'm gonna draw a line here. Now, if you were thinking high and low, looking at this line, this starts low, right? And then what happens? We get higher and higher and higher, and then we're going down lower, right? It's kind of like a roller coaster. Have you ever been on a roller coaster before? Have you ever been right at the top, right before you go down the big hill? And what do you do? You usually scream, right? <laughs> when you're way at the top, you might scream really high. Ah! And then you go down low. So if we were gonna sing this line, can we think about our singing voice? Ooh, and we're gonna change our voice as we go higher on the line. So follow my finger and sing with me, okay? Breathe in. Ooh. How'd you do? Did you start really low in your voice? Ooh, and then you got really high. How high can you go? Can you see if you can really start really low and then get really, really high? But always make sure that it feels comfortable for your voice. All right, here we go. Follow me. Ooh. Very good. This is a really great way to just warm up our voice and get our voice singing and moving around so that we're using it, especially if maybe today you haven't even used your voice at all yet. You wanna make sure that it's all warmed up and ready to go. That was a great line. Let's draw a different one. What should I do? I think I wanna do maybe some loop-de-loops because that's fun. This was kind of like one of the ones that we did together. Can you follow the line? Follow my finger on the line and sing with me. Ready? When was your voice the highest? Was it at the top of the loops? That's where your voice gets the highest is at the top of the loops because that's where the line goes the highest and your voice follows the line all the way to the top. Let's do it one more time, ready? Ooh. Notice how I'm not yelling or screaming or using my voice in a really scary way. I'm just singing. It sounds kind of nice and it feels very comfortable, which is good. Now, let's do one more of these lines. Let's do. This one is a little bit different. The other ones, we started low, but this one, where does it start, high or low? starts high so we have to start up at the top of our voices and then we're gonna go down okay breathe with me and here we go and we end really low we step we end at the bottom because we started up high we have to go somewhere we have to go down it's like a slide this one is like a slide imagine you're on the side and you have your hands up and you're sliding down and can you sing with me very good friends that was really really great okay now 
I want to show you something different. This looks familiar, right? This is like a musical staff, sort of. I'm going to draw some notes. Now I'm going to say high and low as I sing these notes. Okay. So what do you think this one's going to be? Is it higher or lower than, let's say, this one? It's above it, so it might be higher. So let's call this one high, and let's call this one low. So let's sing. High, low, high, low. Try it with me, here we go. High, low, high, low. Very good. We're going to come back to these notes a little bit later, but first, I want to give you a chance to really practice your high, voice and your low voice by doing our vocal little game big pig so on the next page you can watch that and do the speaking with me in your high voice and your low voice okay